Imagine this, you wake up one morning, sun shining, say goodbye to your family and head out the door. It's a beach day. Driving to the beach you can't wait to feel the sand between your toes. The beach is bustling with people trying to escape the heat. You run into the water, feeling instantly refreshed. You can't wait to explore the underwater world. As you come to the surface you realize just how far from shore you are. Boats are driving past, the sun is setting, and the weather is turning for the worse. You feel the brush against your leg. What was that you ask yourself? Then you spot it, the unmistakable dorsal fin of a man-eater. It is huge, and circling you. Well, we all know how this story ends. This is due to media, movie, and various materials, such as shown here in GTA, making us believe that sharks are hungry for swimmers. Unfortunately, the humble gray nurse shark is often confused as a man-eater. This is due to its large body, sharp teeth, and overall intimidating appearance. <gasps> Hello? Well, hi! Name's Bruce. It's all right, I understand. Why well, trust a shark, right? <laughs> It is because of this confusion that the Grey Nurse Shark suffered immense fishing pressure during the 1950s and 1960s. I am a nice shark, not a mindless eating machine. If I am to change this image, I must first change myself. Fish are friends, not food. In 2000 a New South Wales DPI survey indicated the population could be as low as 292 individuals along the east coast of Australia. They were an easy target most noticeably for spear fishers. Their large profile, along with the relatively slow placid movements made them easy prey. They were listed on the IUCN red list as endangered by 1996. In 2000 they were later recognized as vulnerable by the IUCN. New South Wales DPI however has the East Coast population recognized as critically endangered in the New South Wales Fisheries Management Act of 1994. Despite the protected status grey nurse sharks are still suffering losses. Their biggest threat is still fishing, with sharks often dying due to wounds. Uh, pardon me? <gasps> Hello? <laughs> Don't be alarmed. Oh, we just wanted to make sure that our newest member got home safely. Thanks, guys. Well, we'll see you next week. Keep up with the program, Dory. Remember, fish are friends. Not food. Bye. There are currently campaigns running to educate fishers and public to remove the stigma that sharks want to eat you. Hopefully this, along with careful fisheries management, will allow the grey nurse shark population to recover along the East Coast.